Today, I'm gonna to show how we can scrape any website in seconds all with AI. We're gonna be building out a really simple web scraper. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step my process of how I do this so you can make a really simple script to get any kind of information from any website in seconds. This is really great if you wanna extract bulk amounts of information from some kind of table on a specific website, and you're not really gonna to need to know how to code at all. I'm gonna hold your hand and walk you through everything. Everything. Before we get into it, if you want to work with me, any kind of AI or automations project, make sure to book a free time with me in down in the description below. But anyway, let's get into it. So I know a lot of you guys that follow my channel are also in the recruiting space. So I thought today we're going to scrape Google jobs like that. We're going to make a really simple scraper all using Python and VS code along with ChatGPT and Claude to help us build this so we can get all this juicy data on this page in a click of a button and how we're gonna do that is this all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type in a new search result here so we're gonna look for Python developers so you see you get all these listings here that we can then scrape we're gonna want to get all of this information on this page and then we're gonna want to actually parse this information on the HTML and then put that in a nice neat JSON file for us to then use for whatever we want and you could turn this JSON file into like a CSV file or an Excel file we're gonna take this URL here. I'm going to head on over to ChatGPT. I'm going to paste in the URL and I'm going to say, can you make a simple request and BS4 script to return all the HTML from this page and put it in page.html? So what we're basically doing is we're using this URL right here and we want to return the HTML that's inside of this page. If you're not too familiar with that is the HTML is basically the structure of this website right here. So if I right click this here and I click on inspect, you'll see we have the HTML structure of the entire website here. And you can see if I hover over elements, it'll show me the boxes in which that information is located. And what we're telling ChatGPT to do is build me a script using requests and beautiful soup, which will allow us to get the data from the internet and parse the information and then put it inside a page.html file. So we're basically telling it to go to the page, get all the information, and then put it in a brand new HTML file for us. So let's check this out and see if it actually does it for us. Oh, it doesn't even even mention using beautiful soup in this, but I know we're going to need it in a little bit here. We'll take our new script here. I'll come on over to VS Code. I'll make a new Python script. If you don't have Python installed already, you can just download it from the Python website. And I'm going to name this jobs.py. And I'm going to paste in my script here. Also, if you're downloading Python for the first time, make sure you have the extension in the extensions tab. This will allow us to run our Python script inside of VS Code right here. So if you come over here, you'll notice I have this run feature right here. And also we need to install requests. So if we don't have it already we can just come into a new terminal and type in pip install requests i think i already should have mine installed but if you don't just do that and now let's give this a run and see what happens here so after a quick run we get our new page if i were to open this in a new window so i have this open to live server which is also another plugin you can get from over here this live server plugin right here this allows me to right click and open up this html file you'll notice i get this html here with all the jobs located but you'll notice it's not actually on the Google URL, it's on my local URL with page.html. And it has all the information we need in order to scrape this page. So now this is where we're gonna kind of change up the way we're doing this. And instead of using ChatGPT, we're gonna use Claude. So I'm gonna take this code, I'm gonna come on over to Claude. And the reason why we're gonna be using Claude is actually because of their 200,000 token context window. So this is something that's been out for a little bit now, but Claude has a 200,000 token in context window on all of their latest models since Claude 2.1. We're now on Claude 3, and this allows us to put in all of our HTML at one time. So then the AI will go through and automatically pick apart the things that we need in order to put inside our JSON file, Excel file, or whatever we're looking for. So yeah, that's why we're gonna be using Claude for this. And I'm just gonna paste in our code that we got from ChatGPT, and then I'm gonna come back over. I'm gonna take our HTML here that we got. I'm gonna paste this also in Claude. I'm this on Claude 3 Opus, the latest version of Claude. We're gonna say, can you edit this code to also print out a JSON file extracting each job title, location, company name, skill level, and URL for the job. If it doesn't exist, leave it blank. This is something. So you'll notice it says message is 189% over the limit length. Let's actually cut this down a little bit. I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna right click and then 
format this document. And let's try to go through this a little bit and kind of pick apart what we're looking for. If I type in software, so we're looking for the software engineer who full stack, which is just the text that was on this website right here, just this information. So we're looking for this right here. So I'm just going to take this part of the code and kind of copy a couple lines <laughs> and then we'll copy this over and then I'll put this in here instead and we'll just give it a go. Right. So you can see now it's using that BS4 that I talked about earlier. Beautiful soup that'll be able to parse our HTML and get the right information for us. So if we don't have that installed already, we can just come up into here, type terminal, new terminal and pip install bs4 i already have mine so i think i should be good and now we have our new code here that will extract all the information and put it in a little json file for us as well so i'll copy this over i'll come in here i'll replace our code with our new code and if you kind of just go through it, you can kind of see that we're taking the URL and then putting it through the beautiful soup HTML parser here, which is going to take our HTML, run it through beautiful soup, extract all the information here, put it in this little kind of format here, and then put that in a jobs.json. So if everything goes to plan, we should have, look at that, all the information from Google Jobs, just like that in literally a second. We get things like the title, the company, location, skill level, and the jobs URL. We can even take this a step further and we can come through and edit this so that we can get rid of this corporate fare here on the company name. So I'll say, remove this from the company name. And then I'll say, edit this to make it a clickable URL to Google Jobs. Because right now it's just job slash results, but we want this to be like google.com slash job slash results. We got our new code here. I'll copy this over, come back into jobs.py. I'm gonna run this again and we get our new one here. And look at that. Company name is the company name looks correct. And we get these URLs here that go right to the job listing. You can also edit this if you want, say, instead of saving it as a JSON file, save it as a CSV or save it as an Excel sheet. I'll kind of demonstrate that right now. So can you say this is a CSV? Awesome. So now we just take our new code here. And if we paste this back in here, it looks like it just changed it to joblistings.csv with the CSV import here as well. So if we just give us a click and we get our new CSV file with all of our relevant data once again, look at that. But to show you how fast this process actually is, let's scrape another website. We're gonna be scraping Craigslist. It's very similar to something like eBay or Facebook Marketplace, if you're not familiar with Craigslist. We're gonna change this from gallery to thumb and we kind of have a better looking structure for us to scrape the information. So what we can do now is once again, I'll take this URL here. I like starting with chat gpt for this one i'm going to put in the url and then say can you use requests to get the html of this page and print it to page.html very similar to what we were doing before and honestly should just be the exact same script with just the change of the url because all it's doing is just going to the url getting the html and then just putting it in a file yeah it's really simple so I'll copy this over again and i'll make a new file called craig.py and if we slap this in here and we give this a run we get page.html so now if I were to right click and open live server this, what do we get? So it comes up with a blank page. I tested this before and if we actually right click on this and we go to the body, yeah, and you see here, we actually get the search results right here on the right. So we get things like the, the name, the price and the location and the URL here from the HTML that was retrieved. So we're gonna use this information to build out our scraper. So what we can do is I'm gonna take this script again we got and I'm gonna paste this in Claude now again because of that context window like I mentioned. And then I'm going to paste in the entire section of each of these listings here. So it looks like all these listings here with these LI elements, you can kind of see they all have the titles with each of the different products on the page. So I'm gonna kind of go over until we get all of them in this one here. And then I'm gonna copy this element. I'm gonna paste this also in here. And I'm gonna say, we're gonna say, can you go through this HTML, make it print a JSON file of the product title, product URL, price and location. And we're just gonna see what it gives us. Okay, right, so it does it correctly, but what I want it to actually do is instead of opening up the page to HTML, we're gonna say, can you combine this into one script to get the HTML and parse it and make the JSON file? Because right now what it's doing is it's actually saying, read the HTML content with the page.html. We want it to actually make the HTML content and then also separate it into its JSON parts. Awesome, so it uses requests in this scenario and then inputs the URL, and then it's gonna do the same thing it did in the other one, 
I'll copy this over, I'll put it inside here, and I'll delete you. And now if we give this a run, products.json, look at that. We've got all of our products here. Title, the URL, price, and location. Isn't that awesome? And we can do this for basically any website that has structured data like this, and it will just find it, figure out what to do, and then put it in a nice, neat JSON format for us. I'll have links down in the description below to where you can get both of these scripts, the one for Google Jobs and also Craigslist. If you learned something in this video, make sure to give it a fat like down below. It really, really does help me out. Also leave a comment. What kinds of things do you want me to automate or scrape next? And while you're at it, make sure to book a free time with me where we can chat about all things AI and automations for your business. And if you like videos like this, you'll definitely like this video over here where I teach you how to make an AI phone bot that responds to any kind of question you ask over the phone, all with AI and ChatGPT. So I'll see you guys over in that video.